Hey guys, Ben from MySportsStop, uh, here as always with Richie Denell. Our scouting report today is on Garrett Bowles from Utah. From Utah, yeah. The, this this kid is incredible. Okay. Uh, 6'5", 300, and, and you know, we talked about the other guys and their size. Uh, what's most impressive is he has room to add weight uh, if, yep. if needed to yep. play at that next level. Um, what's unique about him is he decided to take his, his mission before playing football, um, came back and just completely tore it up. Um, what I like about him the most is that playing in the Pac-12, uh, he's gone up against some of the elite edge rushers like Terrace McKinley, who will probably be in one of our videos later, um, as an elite edge rusher. But but having faced a lot of edge rushers week to week because of the passing that happens in the Pac-12, you know that now he, he's a good run blocker. Utah has that, that style of an offense, but he can also pass block as well. Yeah, and... Um... I think one thing that really stands out on the tape is he plays beyond the whistle. Yes. Uh, he's a guy that's going to give, yeah. you know, defensive linemen a long day. Yes. And, and you know, when you look at somebody like that, um, playing to and through the whistle reminds me of somebody like Taylor Luan, who a lot of people criticized and, and had some issues when he was coming into the combine, but has now solidified himself as probably one of the upper uh, level tackles yeah. for the Tennessee Titans. You know, when you can get that aggressive, not everybody's born with that aggressive nature. And when you can find a, just a mean, nasty lineman uh, with that type of an attitude, you're picking a great mm -hmm. person because you need somebody who has that mentality to be able to play in the trenches yeah. all day long. Yeah. Now you said he already went on his mission. You know, he came from a ju JUCO. Yep. Um, with all that, he's going to be 25 yes. uh, by the time he's in training camp. Right. Um, that knocks off a couple of years, possibly, in his it, career. It does, but but most, I mean, in in most cases, most offensive linemen don't usually play past 35, 36, 37 anyways. It's okay. not a position where you're going to get a lot of guys in the 40s just because of the speed of the game. So, if, I mean, if he has a really good 10, 11-year career, you can't really complain because that's about the length of a franchise type mm -hmm. of player uh, anyways. Uh, what, what makes him unique is his ability to go from the Juco to the D1 and that type of athlete that he has with the ability to add weight reminds me of somebody also similar to like a Kyle Long yeah. who was a really good athlete, went to the Pac-12 and had to mm -hmm. face those edge rushers as well um, before moving on. Okay, so where do you see him going uh, in the draft? Yeah, I, I think he's going to I think he's going to be uh, he has a chance to be the last tackle taken in the first round. Um, he's that guy that's flying up boards really, really fast here as we head into the combine. Um, he has the ability to go in the first round, but I think he could also be that guy if, if he does end up slipping. He's going to be right at that 33, 34, 35 range mm -hmm. as that first tackle gone immediately. Uh, somebody who could change the, the franchise yeah. from the left side. Yeah, I think he's going to be a day one starter, possibly not even at tackle. He might be somebody like Laramie Tunsil yes. who starts out at guard. At guard. Um, I, I think I'm going to see him late first, possibly even early second. Yeah. But if he goes into the second round, um, you know, at number 33, I think teams are going to maybe trade up right. uh, to get this guy. Yeah, I agree. And, and one of the, the luxuries that, you know, with a player of his caliber getting that late first and second, the difference for the organization is going to be uh, how much money they have to pay. Sure. So a player like him, he could turn into an elite tackle before that rookie contract's over, and they could still get away with not having to pay him that first round money um, because he's going to be a hot commodity come that late first. Right, he's, he's going to be a very cap-friendly player. Yes. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to go on our website, mysportstop.com, for more original videos.